Three, two. Richard Burns one. Rally might be 21 Go. years old, but thanks to some incredible straight, plugins from the Rally Sim fans community, it's still alive, kicking, and honestly, it might just be the best Rally Sim out there. With round one of the Sim Rally Masters coming up in the end of September, I figured it's the perfect time to show some YouTube love to my favorite Rally Sim. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to edit your overlays in Richard Burns Rally. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is load up the game and just go into a practice stage and then hit F4 on your keyboard. And this is going to open up the RBR HUD tools. And it's important to remember that every time you change the overlay, you're editing a different INI file associated to a particular part of the stage or the race. So you can have three different overlays that can show up at any given time. So you have your default pre-race, your default in-race, and then your post-race overlay. And then if you wanna have different overlays for replays, you can do that as well. And the pre-race simply loads right before you start the stage until the timer counts down. The in-race is obviously what's when you're driving. Post-race is when you finish the stage. And then your replays, I th I'm not really sure why there's a pre and post replay, but you can edit those as you see fit. Now, once you're ready to go in and actually edit the overlay, hit this open overlay editor button. And here you'll have a bunch of different options. You can see in the active overlay side, which overlays you have active right now. And you can add more if you'd like to. So let's just put one in here for an example, Motec Race. I hit the add button. And you can see now this Motec race thing pops up right here, but it's massive and we do not like the way that looks. But if I put my cursor position where I want the overlay, which let's put it right in the center here since it's kind of a DDU, and we'll hit F1 and you can see it moves it to that location kind of. You kind of have to figure out exactly where. So we would want it more like over here and then we can hit F1 and keep moving it. Now, if you want to fine tune the location of it, you can then use the X and the Y individually, individual pixels to move it left and right, up and down on the screen like I'm doing here. But obviously it's way too big, right? So we need to take the scale and put it way down. And then we'll use the F1 feature again and we'll move it like somewhere around like right here, maybe. A little bit higher. And there, I mean, I wouldn't use that, but it's there. Now there are lots of different options here, so let's go ahead and remove that because it looks terrible. I'm a big fan of the Rally Clean. So let's add all of the Rally Clean overlays and see how what they look like. So here's the drive bar. I keep double clicking. You don't double click, you hit the add button. You can put a tachometer in, you can put a timer in, you can put your tires so you know what tires, what your tires are doing. You can put your inputs in. And then let's go ahead and move. We're gonna move this input into the center so we can see what it actually looks like. So this is what the inputs looks like. It looks terrible. I don't really understand it. Oh, there it is. It's just a little block. That's actually a lot cleaner than the one that I have down here in the corner. Obviously, it's called Rally Clean. <laughs> so once you figure out which overlays you like, these are kind of cool. You can add in drag or flag. I don't know why it says that. You can add in things that look like WRC overlays. So now we have like a whole mess of things on the screen. Now you can see I got this just really, really good setup here. But once you decide what you actually want, you can go ahead and start to tear it down. I want this tachometer with the gear and my KPH down here in the bottom right corner. I'm gonna put my cursor where I want it to go. Hit the F1 button, that's a little too low. Let's put it a little higher, hit the F1 again. And that's pretty good. Let's tune it a little bit. Do we want the scale? I like it small. I don't really need it to take up a lot of space. And then I want it down further in the corner of the screen. So I'm just gonna fine tune it here with the Y. And then I'd like, I'd like it to move a little bit further to the right. And you can use the digits in there. You can type in digits. If I wanted to say, look, I want it to go to 2200, you can put it at 2200. Go in and start looking through all of the different overlay elements, see which ones you like. When you finally get everything positioned and where you want it, then you want to save an overwrite. If you hit the save and overwrite button, this is going to overwrite the default in race.ini. So hopefully this video helps you out. If it does, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys at the next rally. Flat right, long.
continues over crest, 300.